Hey there, I think you're really going to enjoy this project today because it's all about you. We, what we'll be doing is drawing a self-portrait. When artists draw self-portraits, they're drawing themselves. A portrait is really just a picture of a person, but when you change it to a self-portrait, it means that it is all about you. What we'll, we will be trying to do today is to get all the parts of our bodies in our drawing. So we'll have a head, a neck, shoulders with two arms. This part of us that contains our belly is called our torso. We'll make sure that's there. Two legs down to two feet or two shoes. And all of us have slightly different faces, slightly different hair. Even our clothes could be a little different. So what I'm going to do, even though this one over here is of me, I'm going to get rid of that for now and talk to you about this one. We will draw this much together, but when you are done drawing this much to me, with me, things like your shoes, your clothes, your hair and your face. I will give you some suggestions for how to draw the parts of the face, but if you know a better way or a different way, those things are fine. Of course, you won't miss the chance to do your own kind of hair. And if you want your uh, self-portrait to not have pants, if you're thinking of a different type of clothing for your self-portrait, that would be fine as well. You can just erase, think of the shapes of that type of clothing and draw that as well. So let's begin. I'm going to get my nice piece of paper in front of me the tall way and near the top I'm going to begin with a nice oval shape for the head. I'm going to encourage all of you to draw a little bigger than smaller today. I don't want to see a little sh tiny person in the center of the paper. Let's remember that we've got the whole paper to work with. Near the top will be the head, middle the torso, sort of our belly area and arms, down here the legs, and save room at the bottom for the feet. So I want you to think about yourself on this paper before we even get there, before we even begin drawing. I want you to think about your head near the top, shoulders, belly, room for the legs, and the shoes near the bottom. So as I said, near the top, I'm going to toss in a nice oval for myself. Two lines on either side will bring down my neck. And I'm going to show the top of my t-shirt here around my neck is a little curved. But again, if you're thinking of something different, that would be okay too. From the sides of the neck, shoulders come out slightly and then curve. Out slightly, then curve. I'm going to bring these down a little bit further. And for me, I'm going to show a short sleeve t-shirt. So I'm going to put a little shape there where the t-shirt ends and the arms come out. These are the spots where the armpits are, and that's where the side of the body comes down. So I'm going to take those up a little into the armpit. Down this portion of us is called our torso. It's where our belly and our chest is. I'm going to make that more of a boxy shape there. Before I come back to do my arms and hands, I'm going to drop down the sides of my legs, my pants. Again, later on, if you're thinking of something different, it's the bottom of that pant leg, this one, triangle in between will show that there are two legs. Let's come back to add the arms out of here. The arms will come down with two sides each. And I'm sure you know by now, we've got five fingers. So I'm going to add my five fingers here. And together we just drew the basic body containing the head, neck, shoulders, torso, arms, and the legs. 
Whenever you draw a self-portrait, maybe you're just drawing yourself from here up, but when you draw the whole body, I'd love if you tried to include all of these parts every time. Now it is time to personalize. So down here near the bottom, I'm gonna add some pretty simple shoes. There's the ties on my shoes. I want to be wearing a watch in my picture. I'm gonna add hair here near the top. All sorts of ways for hair to be, all sorts of types of lines that hair can be. I'm gonna add two tiny lines here for ears that are really close to my face. And then let's talk about the eyes. Eyes can be shaped sort of like a football or a lemon, but trying it as just a circle for now would be fine. With a dot inside, a little L shape, pointed shape for the nose would work for us. And then a little curve for a smile will help that face come alive. If you wanted to, you could put a design on the t-shirt. I'm gonna to toss the other shoe in here. Just a real simple shoe, there's my laces. But you can add whatever you'd like to your uh, self-portrait today. And when you're done, you will color. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed making a self-portrait with me today. Including all of these parts helps us know that it is you and adding all the details, like the hair, the eyes, and the clothing are all up to you and you get to decide those things today. I hope you have fun.